I'm Mojo Nixon, crazier than one-eyed chick on a rabbit coon dog. Mojo Nixon, world empire. On the Mojo Nixon, the legendary alternative musician, actor, and DJ, known for his iconic 1987 hit Elvis is Everywhere, has sadly passed away at the age of 66. Nixon, whose real name is Neil Kirby McMillan Jr., was found dead today aboard the annual Outlaw Country Cruise, where he was a regular presence as both a performer and co-host. Just the night before, he had given an electrifying performance, and the photo above captures his passion on stage. According to his family, Nixon's cause of death was a cardiac event. August 2, 1957, to February 7, 2024. Mojo Nixon, How You Live Is How You Should Die Mojo Nixon was a force of nature, a rock and roll rebel who lived life to the fullest. He was like a speeding locomotive, tearing through life with unbridled energy and setting the world on fire. And that's exactly how he went out. Mojo has left the building, and since Elvis is everywhere, we can only imagine he was waiting for him in the alley out back. Heaven help us all. Born in North Carolina, raised in Virginia, and schooled in Ohio, Nixon's musical journey began in Denver as part of the punk band Zebra 123. After Zebra 123 disbanded, Nixon made his way to San Diego, where he joined forces with Richard Bank, also known as Skid Roper, a talented multi-instrumentalist who had a penchant for playing the washboard. Together, they won a battle of the band's contest and were crowned the best new band in San Diego. As their prize, they received three hours of studio time at Soundtrack Studio. The duo soon caught the attention of Los Angeles-based indie label Enigma Records, which released their debut album, Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper, in 1985. However, it was Nixon's 1987 album, Bode Shoes, that propelled him into the spotlight with the infectious opening track, Elvis is Everywhere. The song's music video received heavy rotation on MTV, and Nixon even had the opportunity to perform it on The Arsenio Hall Show, where the audience donned cardboard Elvis masks in his honor. Throughout his career, Nixon recorded several albums as a solo artist and collaborated with other musicians, including the Toadlickers and Jello Biafra. With his unique blend of punk rockabilly, he fearlessly took aim at pop music icons in songs like Don Henley Must Die, Debbie Gibson is Pregnant with My Two-Headed Love Child, and Bring Me the Head of David Geffen. Nixon also dabbled in acting, appearing in the 1989 Jerry Lee Lewis biopic, Great Balls of Fire, where he portrayed drummer James Van Eaton. He also had roles in the 1993 live-action film Super Mario Bros. and the movie adaptation of Car 54, Where Are You? In later years, Nixon transitioned to radio, hosting shows in Cincinnati and San Diego, before finding a home at Sirius XM. Reflecting on his career, Nixon once said, Mojo Nixon wanted to be Richard Pryor. He's like Richard Pryor's crazy cousin, but if he were white and played in a rockabilly band, I would say things that shocked people and spoke the truth simultaneously. I may not have had immense talent, but what I did have was an insurmountable amount of enthusiasm. As Mr. Rotten used to say, an unlimited supply. Mojo Nixon's legacy as a boundary-pushing artist and larger-than-life personality will forever be remembered in the annals of rock and roll history. Thanks for joining us, stay up to date with the latest news by subscribing to our YouTube channel, don't miss out on our newest videos and updates, let's stay connected and informed together, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, see you there.